Does anyone remember when Adam McKay was doing Will Ferrell comedies? Because this is not one of those. So, Vice is something else. Christian Bale is Dick Cheney in this satirical, bizarre, and very, very angry studio biopic by the guy who last brought us 2015's outstanding financial dramedy, The Big Short, as well as some of the most iconic, smart, dumb comedies of the 2000s, such as Anchorman and Step Brothers. And Vice has been super divisive with both critics and audiences, in large part because of its political leanings and scathing depiction of its main character, but also because of how utterly fucking bonkers the filmmaking is. And here's the thing, I don't really care about the politics of this movie. Yes, I naturally lean towards agreeing with the parts of it that I do understand, but I can't imagine that even if I didn't, I wouldn't be totally stunned by the sheer audacity and creativity of the storytelling because it is off the charts. Watching this movie is like having Adam McKay kick in the door and then run around the cinema naked screaming at you through a megaphone. And while that may sound like way too much, and it probably is for most people, I can't deny that something that crazy is utterly captivating and I can't take my eyes away from it. You can literally feel the heat that Vice gives off as it seethes with rage over the things that McKay chooses to focus on. And that rage leads to some of the most exciting filmmaking I saw in 2018. Vice doesn't waste any time at all with an opening that sets a demented tone in which anything is possible. And then it capitalizes on that madcap promise pretty much instantly with just ludicrous idea after ludicrous idea. The non-linear structure of this film actually feeds into the editing with scenes cutting away to flashbacks or inserts or asides that parallel the current moment of action, giving the subtext of those moments a visual manifestation. Look out for the most genius edit of 2018 featuring fly fishing cutaways as Cheney tries to bait George W. Bush into giving him exactly what he wants prior to taking on the VP role before the election. It was so brilliant. I actually had to try to suppress like squeals of excitement. It's just so good. While I do understand that a lot of people may find this excessive or out of control, and look, the film definitely beats you over the head with how literal it is, it never didn't work for me. You may have heard of the phrase, show don't tell, but Vice is like show and tell. Much like the frenetic editing in The Big Short, which by the way was done so that your brain is forced to stay active so that you can absorb all that it's throwing at you, Vice's stylistic mania is designed to keep you agitated and uncomfortable and keeps the experience from ever being a complacent or comfortable one because with all of the exploits the film is exploring, there'd probably be something wrong if this was an easy going experience. And look, even between all of the highly kinetic chaotic mayhem that that McKay and his creative team are setting loose, you should still be able to find a ton of laughs and an entire cast that's on their A game. Fat Christian Bale in the best makeup of 2018 is something to behold as the gravitational force at the center of the movie. Bale does what he does best and makes an incredibly internal character externally accessible by turning complex thought processes into physical language that we can actually understand. Just pay attention to his hands. That's all I'll say. Amy Adams, Sam Rockwell, and Steve Carell continue their hot streak of outstanding performances too, though I wouldn't say that this is the best work from any of them, though seeing them all play such unlikable takes on these characters is a total blast. And can we talk about composer Nicholas Brattel for just one moment because god damn does he nail this. Just like in Moonlight, Brattel's music is incredibly textured here, demonstrating a flawless understanding of leitmotifs that trigger specified emotional responses over time as we come to understand what each sound signifies. The score can go from bombast to introspection to catharsis at the drop of a hat. And for those reasons, it's probably one of, if not my favorite score I heard in 2018. Vice is number one in 2018 on the list of movies most likely to piss off your MAGA hat wearing grandpa. And I totally understand that and have no issues with anyone who wants to dunk on this thing because of what it has to say. What I got from Vice is one of 2018's ballsiest, most brazen, most baffling, most bizarre cinematic experiences. And you all know me, I love that kind of thing. 
So those are my thoughts on Vice. Have you seen it yet? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you like this video? Well, of course you did. You can subscribe to Breaking Banter down there and my other channel, Loverboy Media, over there somewhere. You can follow me on Twitter at Loverboy Media and on Instagram at Breaking Banter. And if you do feel like supporting this channel on Patreon, feel free to do so. Thank you so much to anyone who is supporting us on there already. It's nothing but list videos, I believe, for the rest of January. I don't know what else I'm seeing. I might see Glass. But aside from that, I'm pretty much just gonna be doing our, our year, end of year lists. So yeah, hang around for that stuff. See you guys in the next video.